Hey everybody, this is Thomas and I'm making another video to show you the updates to my game Barbarian Battle Quest, which you see right now. Um, I have made a bunch of updates, so if you're someone who's followed along for a while and uh, has been keeping up with my project, uh, you'll undoubtedly see many improvements and new features and cool updates in this video. But if you're not familiar with my game, uh, this is just a game I'm making by myself. It's in the style of like Golden Axe or an old school side-scrolling beat-em-up game like that and I'm doing this all by myself. All the art, the sound, the graphics, the programming, um, everything I'm doing all by myself. So I just thought the coolest way to introduce you to the game or to show you all the new features that I've added since my last video would be just to start uh, playing and let you see everything that's in the game right now. I'm gonna put on some music from the uh, Mega Man 10 soundtrack because music seems to really add a lot to the game. So here we go, I'm gonna start a battle here. So the theme of the game is you are the barbarian and you're fighting against all these groups of bad guys that will come on the screen in just enormous numbers to, to slaughter you. And you can see this is one of the new enemies right here, the knight. They're kind of a big, uh, heavy, difficult enemy and you kind of want to wipe out a lot of these little guys before you take out the knight. I'm in a lot of trouble here, there's actually three, now four of them on the screen which is no good. So for the knights you have to hit them over and over and overpower them. And they hit you and you can see my, my rage bar at the top of the screen there, which is like more variant of life. That, that went down quite a bit when the knight uh, hit me. There we go. Oh, I got another one now too. So when you play in the game, you just run around with the standard movement keys. And if you do the left mouse button, you'll do uh, a dive out of the way. And if you hold attack, you'll come out of that with a thrust. And you just keep hitting the uh, the left mouse button to just keep attacking over and over. Now you can get rage back in the game by doing a bunch of pointless angry things. Uh, one of those things is squishing this flower right here. So there we go. So I got some rage back. I don't know if you can see that very good. It's kind of busy here. So you don't just hear a ton of clicking over and over. Oh, those knights hit kind of hard. So, um, these clouds are all dynamically programmed and they just fill up the sky all by themselves over and over and just never end. And I drew all this art and put it together in a tile, uh, tile map editor. This pixel death effect I created, so everything just blows up in these cool pixels. I have more enemies in here too. There, There's one, the Necromancer. So he's gonna summon a Wraith on me with magic powers. And the Wraiths are quite a nuisance. If you don't time your attack just right, they just take you out. Now these chickens are another thing you can do to get rage back. You kick them. And then you, you'll fill your rage meter back up. I also have a feature, if you get surrounded and you get in trouble, you can shout buy you a little bit of time and you can hit these guys after they fall over and buy yourself some space. So the game's come a long way from this single screen, ah, single enemy affair. Now these necromancers, if you kill them quickly, their wraiths don't end up forming. You can save yourself a lot of trouble. Uh, I don't have any rage left, I'm gonna die. <laughs> The game's kind of kind of really hard right now. I don't have the special abilities all fleshed out and stuff. Oh man, I'm just trying not to die here as I play. Whoa, that was too close. Play some chickens. Oh shit. There we go, just in time. Okay, so in order to prevent you from being bored here, I'm not going to go through this whole fight, seeing as I just lost anyway. So, I'm going to kill all these guys, and I'll show you what happens at the end of a fight. So this go thing pops up, you'll be able to run to the side of the screen, and just keep on going. Alright guys, so that's uh, the playtest demonstration here for you to get an idea of how my game works. If you've been keeping along, I appreciate it. I love getting all the comments on Twitter, and YouTube, and everything. I'm also, I have a couple things I want to request from everybody. One is, I'd like to know your feedback and what you'd like to see in the game, and 
you know, your response to seeing it in action with all these new features. I'd just like to know if there's anything in particular you think would make it more fun or what you already enjoyed seeing and maybe want to see more of. Also, as far as my videos go, I'd like to know what you like seeing in the videos. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover or anything like that. There might be a little less frequent from here on out since, you know, it's going to take me a lot of time to draw the other stages and add the rest of the enemies and, and things like that. But my progress is great, so uh, I'd love it if you could comment and let me know what you thought. I always appreciate hearing everybody's encouraging feedback. Uh, also, I'm on Twitter, and I have a Tumblr where I post about updates to my game pretty often. So those links are beneath the video, and I hope to hear from you. See you soon.